Okay, so what I've been working on today in my car's shop, 47 Ford Street Rod episode 11, I believe this is, or 12. Uh, working on the front door window glass, I uh, found the divider bar that needs to go in there and got that put in place just to see how it fits. So I'm going to need to take the inner panel out that hasn't been painted yet and get that cleaned up. I've been trying to get a hold of Bob Drake and Max uh, Auto and neither of those companies appear to be answering the phone right now. So I've come up with some workarounds for a couple of parts that I'm missing temporarily. Uh, so I can get this together and get this car sealed up. And uh, I think we're going to be good to go. So a few little parts here and there I'm going to have to figure out. But overall, I think uh, we'll at least get some progress made on this today. So welcome to my car's shop. Okay, so uh, I forgot to turn the camera on because I was running around doing a bunch of prep work and doing a bunch of figuring. And uh, so I got this in the, in the rust, rust converting primer right now. Uh, got the car covered up now because it's clean and I want it to stay clean. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to shoot it with a, a gray primer that's closer to the interior color so I don't have to use quite as much material uh, to cover this. Believe it or not, I actually still have a, a can of this color, uh, which surprised me, but I dug around and found one of the, of the interior gray that I'm using. So uh, really happy about that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to let this dry for a while. And I'm working on also getting these uh, divider bars polished so they'll look a little better. Um, I'm going to probably have to go over it with some double lot steel wool. They're pretty bad. So I might just take that in the house and do that so I can do it in the sink. But, um, so this has got to dry for a while and then I will be back out to shoot this with a coat of the, the gray primer. And then that will have to dry, and we'll get that one shot with uh, with the actual gray color that goes on there. So stay tuned. Okay, lunch is done. Good chili, it was great. So I'm going to get ready to put the uh, coat of the gray primer on this next. It's an etch and fill primer, just to help fill in some of the little scratches and dents that might be minor imperfections in there. Uh, one of the struggles I've had is been trying to get a hold of, as I mentioned, Bob Drake or Max to order the seal kits for these windows, and I can't get a hold of either of them right now, so they must not be really open for business or else they're very swamped. But the old seals are actually not bad. There's a couple little pieces missing. I'm just going to put some temporary seals in so that I can get these windows in the car. I'm concerned about them kicking around the shop and getting broken. I paid a lot of money to have them cut. And this is a weekend project I can do further down the road when the car's done. It's easy, very easy. Five screws and a couple of bolts and the windows back out. So uh, I can do this on a weekend and replace those seal kits later. Don't normally like to do that, but I, wanted, I don't want to lose momentum on this project. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So we'll get some gray put on this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get that divider bar put in the, win in the door. Because that comes next before this goes back in with the glass. So... Hang on, here we go. Okay, so the window track is cleaned as you've seen me do in another episode. This is for the front window, obviously. i got to make sure that that's the right one for this door, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, well, I know it is because the glass is still in the other one and that fits the other side. So um, we are good to go with that. Um, this, a little bit of grit in there, but I think it's just paint bubbles. Uh, the gray is done for the second coat now. And we're ready to let that dry, so I'm going to take a little break, let this dry, and uh, want it to be good and dry to the touch. So I'll be a while, and we'll come back out here again in a bit, and we will um, test fit everything again, make sure it's good, and then I need to remember 
the exact process of putting in the glass in the door in the car and what that's going to take to do. So uh, stay tuned and we will be back. Okay, so I just checked uh, the part. It's been a couple hours since I was out here. Everything's very nice and dry to the touch. So I can start moving forward on uh, test fitting it in the car one more time, making sure everything is gonna go together the way I want. Uh, I may stop at the point of putting this in the car today. Uh, I may put the vent wing window in on this side, but uh, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I just want to test fit everything and make sure it's all good to go before I go too far. And I need to uh, just think a little bit more about how I'm going to put this in the car and so forth. So moving forward on this and uh, we'll have at least some more glass in on the passenger side here soon. Okay, so I got the vent wing window in finally. I have multiple combinations of issues. And uh, just let me make it very clear, I wasn't beating on that glass with a hammer. It's a very soft face hammer. It's not really a hammer, it's a rubber thing. And I was using the soft face to just, uh, just gently tap. Uh, the glass wouldn't go into the setting tape, so I finally had to remove the setting tape. And what I've done right now, and I've had to do this before on other cars. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, it's the way I do it. Um, Right now I've just got a couple little dobs of silicone to hold the glass in because it could potentially fall out. I still have to put the other window in there. So until um, that dries I've got a little tape just holding things in place. I used a couple little pieces of setting tape to just wedge the glass in place. Once I'm done and the other window is in, what I will do um, probably on the inside is I will go around with a very thin bead of silicone and squeeze it down into the track. I may do it on both sides, we'll see how it looks. Um, it'll look good, but I mean as far as how it's going to work. And that way if I ever have to take that out again, all I have to do is take a razor blade and slip that silicone and that glass will pop right back out of there. You don't want much, just a little bit. But I've only got a couple dabs right now because I want, if I have to take it back out again, I want to make that easy on myself. So that's why the tape is there as well. That'll give it a little extra insurance until that silicone dries it. And the setting tape that's in that window channel is extremely thin, but it wasn't thin enough. So at first you might have seen me trying to pry that channel open just a little bit. I couldn't get that to work. So, you know, but I want to get moving forward and get this glass in uh, because I've got more work I want to do on the inside of the car as well. And if I don't have windows in it, it's just getting full of felt inside. So I've got the cover over it again. So tomorrow, uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to move forward and get the door glass in. It's been a dozen years since I took that glass out, so I've got to do some head scratching to remember how it goes in. Uh, but we'll get that put in there. And uh, I, got, I worked on the mechanism a little earlier. You saw me clean up the track. So it's getting close to being ready to put the window in this door. So that's very exciting. Tomorrow we'll check that. Pry on that a little bit make sure that that glass is in because the last thing I want to do is have that hit the floor. So we'll find a place to stash the other one, keep it safe. And we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching My Car Shop, 47 Ford Street, Rock.